as I said, I drive throughout Maryland, D.C. and Virginia daily, um, 12 to 8 to 12 hours a day. So, yeah, I'm still learning everything where all the places are. Even in Virginia, where I didn't think there would be one, there's one. And I didn't know it was there, and I've passed it many times. Your program's doing a, a pretty good job. Okay. I've been impressed, and I'll keep with it. I have no problem with that. It's very reasonable. Uh, as you know, like I said, I only got the one month plan because I want to see what it was like an experiment. Because I'm also dealing with 50 other drivers through the company, so before anybody shoved out X amount of dollars for such a program, I'm the guinea pig. I tried it because I'm the main driver. They're just going back and forth to the job sites. I go to all of them, okay. and I can't afford to have the uh, tickets on me because that's my job, my livelihood, my license. They're taking my response to it, and they're they're actually uh, some of them I believe have already started buying the program. This was just uh, last week because okay. I've been with uh, with your program now for uh, going on three weeks, and my impression of it satisfactory enough. They jumped on. It. They didn't even have their GPS units until I talked them into it because I know of three already that's already purchased it. They they went and. Uh, they bought their own GPS units, and then uh, after I explained how the red light camera uh, setup is working, they went ahead and purchased the program also, and you know they're saving money and time also because the red light camera fixtures on the GPS units are working. Mm -hmm. No matter what GPS unit they have, it's it's working. Okay. So you know it's fundamentally working for any GPS unit that's out there. It's just right. a matter of taking the time to load it up and go through the system. I found out about it, uh, like I said, I heard it from the news one night and I checked out the website. They had, uh, they had brought the attention to people that you know, the, the program was out there and they were going to do a research on it and uh, they were going to give their intel on it and they gave out the website and I went ahead and I checked it out, uh, being a driver. They uh, had watched five people go through that camera right in a row, not having a phantom alert. And uh, they were speeding through the, uh, the traffic, and the cameras went off. If they'd have had the phantom alert, they'd have been notified that that camera was there, and they'd have slowed down and saved themselves a forty or eighty dollar ticket, whatever it is, for that section. I haven't gotten a ticket there thanks to phantom alert. I'm going to drive fast. You can't do that. You got to respect the law. Speed limits were made for a reason. And yes, we all have heavy foots, but the phantom alert actually keeps you intact of the fact that there's a camera sitting there because you're speeding or possibly speeding and it's going to slow you down. It's going to keep you from getting that ticket that you don't want to see come in the mail. Everybody has indicated where the uh, red light cameras are and the speed traps are and they are pretty precise. Purchase Phantom Alert, you'll save money, you're going to save a life and you're going to be happy with what you get. It's well worth the investment because they're going to keep putting up cameras because they know it's a money maker for the for the county government. My GPS is set up the way they uh, had done it on Phantom Alert for 900 yards which allows me the time to adjust my speed or uh, my consciousness to where I'm at. You can talk about the icon that I'm seeing here. The icon you're seeing out there is uh, indicating there's a uh, speed camera or a uh, traffic camera, which this one is a traffic light uh, camera. Where is it? It's you can right see there. it right there on in the center of the road. This is the beginning of the camera shots. The pole right there. That's catching both sides, one that that way and one that was coming our way. We're going northbound on Wisconsin. And this is the heart of Bethesda, so it's a populated area. And it's it's made me aware that that's obviously a busy intersection. So you need to slow down and concentrate more on what's around you. The red square is telling me the camera's coming into the visible area. So I'm coming up on it. This would obviously be in the middle intersection. And they have them hidden pretty well. There it is. Right there in the center on top of the pole, behind the tree where you won't see it. And there's the one facing the other direction. You know, 
another one around the red light there, see? And just telling you what there's one off to the on the on the side street over there because I'm set up for nine uh, nine hundred yards. That's telling me there's one on the uh, side street. There's another one coming up on this other intersection. So you think you're gonna fly through one and the system, but you're not because they're gonna get you. Phantom Alert is, is alerting me, telling me that there's one sitting there. So I'm going to fly through that intersection. It's telling me it's a busy intersection. It's going to save a life, obviously, because I'm slowing down. That means someone behind me is going to have to slow down. The camera is actually sitting just past East West Highway, uh, right at the uh, intersection there. You see the 410 sign there, just past it at the next traffic light. The camera's sitting right there in the center. So that white box. Yep, white box sitting up on the pole. That's a camera. It's that red square box that's uh, right on the main road that I'm on. I'm on Wisconsin Avenue. Uh, if anybody has a GPS unit, they know how they read. But uh, there's one facing the northbound side. There's one facing the southbound side. And usually they keep them well hidden behind a tree so you can't see them. So you can't just pull up and say, oh, there's a camera. Like that one there, sitting in a tree. You can't see it coming up northbound side. Phantom Alert seen it. It told me. I won't get that ticket there. That's right. And it includes that as the fact that it's a busy intersection. This is a busy area. This is Bethesda.